All right, everybody. I cheated a little on this one. Um, started on this last night. I started picking at it. <laughs> and the next thing you know, I'm elbow deep in the dumb thing. And I kind of lost track of time, and I hadn't filmed it. Um, so anyway, this is the, uh, the Valley Pan cover. Um, I got all the gasket off of here. Um, I soaked it all night. I don't know if that's good for it or not. But that's what I did. Let me find my gloves real quick. Anyway, I started on it, and uh, now let's get her let's get her cleaned up and get this thing painted. Timing chain covers all done. You can check out uh, that video right up there. I'll link that. I learned how to do linking now. <laughs> I'm learning. Get these gloves on. Start scrubbing. I was using the oven cleaner on this. Um, <laughs> I left it. It's steel, so I left it on there all night. Aluminum, I don't think you want to do that. I think you'd etch the aluminum pretty good. But with this steel, I'm not too worried. Nobody ever sees this. This is, you know, under the intake and stuff, so it's really not visible. But it's got to be clean. And I do want to paint it so it keeps it uh, a little bit nicer shape. Are expensive. I went to uh, look how much just to replace it. It's like $140 or something stupid for a valley pan cap, valley pan. So I'm like, oh yeah, I guess I'm gonna clean it. I guess that's why I didn't film it because I didn't plan on cleaning it. I didn't think, I had no idea these things were that expensive.
wiping everything down. I went uptown and got some different gloves. Those other ones actually hurt to take on and off. They were so darn tight. Um, get this cleaned up as best I can. Some of this stuff does have paint on it. <coughs> Just using a mineral spirits here, so I'm not using uh, oven cleaner at the moment. It's kind of down to the final clean here to clean this before I before I paint it. Now these are just brackets, but same thing. Kind of want them to look nice. You're looking in there, half the stuff you won't see. But what you do, you won't know exactly what it is you'll be able to see and won't be able to see. So take your time. Like this piece right here, I should grab some sandpaper, clean up a little better. I want the pink to stick to it. Let me take a minute. If I had left it, it might have been okay. Let's wipe him down one last time. Again, I'm only going to paint this top side. So this will be a fairly, fairly easy paint job. I better put something in the hole here because I don't want to have paint inside of there. The vapors and all that stuff does go down into the engine. So if I get paint in there, it'll get eaten up by the vapors and then end up in my engine. So I better plug that. You're gonna blow. Let me go find something. Maybe I'll just glue them on there for a split second or something. This one will be fine. Piece of tape on the back, maybe. Just enough to keep it in place. I'm not worried about this one. Mainly it's just so I don't blow stuff inside. This is a flat black when it's done. The reason I'm opting to go with this on this one piece I'm sorry, it seems kind of weird because I'm not using my finger, I'm using my thumb. Um, <laughs> I don't know, for some reason spray cans hurt my tip of my finger. And then when I press too hard that I end up covering the nozzle, then you get globs. Anyway, so the reason I'm using this is it's a high temp enamel, okay? It also is Rust-Oleum, it says right there, stops rust. So this part had some rust issues. The other parts are aluminum. I'm just gonna paint those straight away. This actually has a, you know, you saw it had some corrosion on it. So I'm concerned about that. Um, so I'm still gonna paint it Pontiac blue over the top. It probably be a little darker blue because the base is gonna be black, but I'm okay with that. This is mostly hidden, but I also don't want this to rust. Um, so I'm going to let this dry um, and then I'll give it uh, another uh, another coat. Because the, the heater is blowing right over my head here. So that's why this top part dried so fast. Um, so we'll let that dry for a little bit and then we'll come back. All right. She is looking pretty good. Um, oh, I got to go grab my, got to go grab my paint. Um, let's get the coat of the Pontiac blue on here and see what it looks like. Should be really interesting because this is so much darker.
to start with. If the paint's going to look darker. You have to be careful here again. It's uh, two light coats and one medium wet coat. Okay, stop them. You know me, I like to go too much with the paint, so I'm gonna hold off right there, and uh, it'll only be a second for you, but I'm gonna wait 15, 20 minutes at least, come back, do another light coat, just do that. I might even do four light coats, because that medium wet coat, every time I've done it, I seem like I get runs. Um, maybe I'm just a little overzealous on my, on my medium coat. <laughs> I mean, my medium coat is actually a heavy coat. I'm just going to hit this little spot by this boss here. There we go. All right. Um, we'll, leave, we'll leave it sit for a while, and then we'll come back. All right. So this will be the third coat. And I think for this, um, I think three coats is going to be plenty. I'm really not noticing that it's really any darker than the ones that were just on bare metal that didn't have the primer. So that's actually really encouraging that if a person needed to do this and you had a, another color over the top that was good and you wanted to put this over it, it would come out okay. Honestly, that's looking beautiful. Um, it doesn't need to be great it is just a valley pan cover so I think we're gonna leave her at that and I got I actually painted this other bracket I'll wait until I get three coats on that I took it had to do a little bit more work on that I was working on that while while the valley pan was dry uh, uh, drying in between so I do have two coats of paint on the bracket already I'll get a third coat on there. I'm probably not going to film that. It's just a bracket. Um, I'm going to do that right before I go to bed. i come out tomorrow. This will all be hardened. We can put this away and start working on another, another project. I'm sure I've got, I've got lots more to do here. I'm just not sure where to go. I went to go order my camshaft tonight, and it's discontinued. So I've got to come up with another plan. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do. Um, I've uh, contacted a couple of people that I, uh, that I trust their opinion on what, uh, what cams to use. Um, I actually reached out to, to, to one guy that I've been talking to. Um, so hopefully I can come up with a, with a plan B because plan A just went down the tubes because they, they apparently crane cams doesn't make that cam anymore. All right, time to finish out this video. Um, so here's my valley pan cover. Um, I'll wipe off the bottom before I install it. There's that bolt I had in there just to hold it in place. Hold on, take that out. So anyway, um, it's really good shape. I'll wipe this down before I install it. Um, I got the edges all good. So the, uh, the gasket should install just you know real good. I wiped out as much of the inside as I could. I rinsed this out really well in a tub. Nothing else came out of the top. It's absolutely beautiful. There is one ding here. Oh, uh, maybe I'll, oh, I just noticed that now. When did I do that? Um, that might be a problem with its sealing. A little bit of a, a little bit of a dinger right there. If you can see that on the video, but, um, I'll have to put that on the. I'll have to put that on the uh, on the anvil, and give that a little tap down. I'm sure that'll flatten out just fine. Um, then I also painted this bracket. 
came out pretty good. Again, the castings on a lot of this stuff are so rough. Here's the marks from where all the bolts and washers have been over the years. But she came out all right. Um, so I'm looking forward to getting that back on the back on the engine. Again, that looks looks really good. Um, that paint does a really good job of covering. I'm really surprised at how well it covered on the on the cover here with having that uh, Rust-Oleum uh, base on there. Again, but that Rust-Oleum wasn't enamel, um, and I did it mainly because it was it did have some rust underneath there. And I got most of it off, but this stuff isn't necessarily a rust inhibitor, but the Rust-Oleum paint is, so that's why I put the high heat uh, Rust-Oleum on there. If I'm wrong, it's only a valley pan cover, no big deal, but uh, it should be just fine. Um, all right, so uh, thanks to everybody that's been liking and subscribing to the channel. I uh, really appreciate it. Um, I'm up uh, over a, a thousand subscribers now, so it's really appreciated. Um, I, uh, I have a, a friend that's been doing some networking and really helping out with uh, getting uh, getting the word out. Um, please, again, like the videos, comment, um, subscribe to the channel, share the videos if there's something that's been helpful to you. Um, I do car stuff, home repairs, uh, whatever I'm doing on the weekends, I'm just started filming and uh, I've been getting a lot of comments back and people people like it I know I enjoy watching um, videos about people working on their cars um, and when I had to repair my garage door opener um, I looked up other people's videos so uh, I'm hoping that the stuff I'm sharing is is useful and, and entertaining at the very least so anyway thanks again for watching uh, have a great day and see you in the next video